Hey Scorpio, it's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. We're rolling old school today, Scorpio. We are doing uh, old school. No face-to-face -face time this time around. Um, I'm not feeling all that great, and quite frankly, I just don't want to get all spruced up to be on camera, so we're just going to do old school, okay? Scorpio, there will be a timestamp uh, somewhere on the screen there where you can skip all the shuffling if you don't enjoy it. However, for those of you who do enjoy it, sit back, get yourself a drink of some sort, and uh, let's just do a nice big fat reading for Scorpio, yeah? All right, you guys. So, Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. What does Scorpio have coming towards them? What does Scorpio need to look out for? What does Scorpio need to look forward to? Spirit, if you can please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring a message to Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to understand? How does Scorpio navigate their way through whatever is coming down the road? I need one more for the top row, Spirit. One more for the top row for row, top row for Scorpio. Spirit, one more for the top row for Scorpio, please. Whoa, look at that. Did you see that? Try to flip around like that. All right. So we have the tower in reverse, some kind of transformation, possibly a fear of change. The king of cups, love. Prince of cups in reverse, unrealistic or unable to share emotions, out of touch. The chariot, forward motion to the queen of wands. We will see who this is. Well, what else, spirit? Five more for the second row for Scorpio, please. What else? Ace of Swords in reverse to the Hierophant in reverse, the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, and the Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Nice. Soulmate. Love, possibly. What else, Spirit? Forgiveness with the Three of Swords in reverse. Ooh, to the King of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands to the King of Wands, the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Nice, Scorpio. Four more for the bottom row, Spirit. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? What do they need to know? And how do they navigate? Let's see what we have. Two more, Spirit, for the bottom row. Two more. Whoa. Two more. It's just like crazy. Too many. Let me just ask again. Two more for the bottom row. Okay, that'll do it. Five of Wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. Anything else that you want to say for this spread for Scorpio Spirit? King of Pentacles to the Four of Wands in reverse to the Two of Pentacles in reverse. What else, Spirit? What is this about? Four of Cups, Nine of Cups in reverse. What else? <laughs> okay. Six of Wands in reverse. Spirit, anything else you want to say here? Anything else going okay? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit, anything else that you want to say here for Scorpio? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Prince of Wands, Princess of Wands in reverse. The Princess of Cups in reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles. Some kind of new beginning. What do we have here in this little thing? We have the Ace of Cups, the Wheel. The King of Swords, Strength in Reverse, Justice, the Star, Six of Swords in Reverse to the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse to the Ten of Cups. Well, why the hell not, Scorpio? Why the hell not? I'm telling y'all right now, I swear. So if you don't like it, if you don't like bad words, um, this is not the tarot channel for you. All right, so the tower in reverse to the king of cups, the seven of pentacles reflecting and assessing. So the tower in reverse is going to be about, um, it's going to be about, I do believe, a personal transformation. Um, in your feelings, Scorpio, the King of Cups, in your feelings, reflecting and assessing with the Seven of Pentacles. What else, Spirit? What else is going on here? What else? What is causing the reflecting and assessing of feelings for Scorpio? 
So we have the devil, okay, some kind of an attachment that is a restriction, some kind of toxicity. Perhaps you're reflecting and assessing on toxicity. Um, the wheel of fortune, a, a turning point. So this reflection and assessment creates a turning point. The queen of wands in reverse, where perhaps you could not meet somebody else's needs in the past, or they could not meet your needs, to the nine of cups. Now you just really are having an emotional epiphany here. Interesting. Prince of Cups in reverse, couldn't share your feelings to the Six of Swords in reverse because there was too much baggage. Um, to the Queen of Pentacles, somebody who used to hold title in your life but does not any more baggage about the Queen of Pentacles, baggage about home, um, family, to the okay, too much baggage to start a new beginning. I see, I see. To the nine of swords in reverse, and it really, it really threw you for a loop. Gotcha. Now you can take some movement with the chariot. Now, y'all, we're gonna go back and read this from the top. Okay, I'm just working through this, and like I said, I'll put a timestamp um, where I stop the channeling and the shuffling, and uh, you can just watch it straight up if you want to. The chariot, right? You want hope. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal with the Queen of Wands. The zodiac sign does not matter. Does not matter at all. Spirit does not give a shit. If you are a Scorpio, a Taurus, he, they, they just, they don't care. Okay, that's all human stuff there. Okay, Ace of Swords in reverse. There was a lack of some kind of clarity, and therefore you could not manifest but now you have changed your belief system about something and you are sending a message of creation to the fool, um, a message of creation to a new beginning and a new journey. You want to create change your belief and you are creating a new path for yourself. All right. Prince of Pentacles in reverse in the center of the reading talks about being stuck for a long time because you didn't have clarity and you had mental challenges about deception and deceit um, to the hangman in reverse. And this was your resistance. The Queen of Cups. Tell me about this Queen of Cups right here, Spirit. This Queen of Cups... I do believe is this Queen of Wands up here. Um, I think it's the same thing. It's talking about your feelings, their feelings. Um, let's see what happens here. You want some forgiveness with the Three of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Cups right here. Who is this Queen of Cups right here? Who is this Queen of Cups? Is it talking about Scorpio's feelings? Is it talking about the feelings of the other person? Yeah, look, an increased focus on goals. You're not avoiding things anymore, Scorpio. To the Three of Swords, wanting some forgiveness, right? Wanting some forgiveness. Hmm. To the King of Wands, representing Scorpio. Um, to the Ace of Wands in reverse, talking about delays and frustration. To the King of Swords in reverse, because you were angry about something. Hmm. Interesting. The Emperor in reverse. This is inflexibility. It's control, right? It's control issues to the lovers and the Prince of Swords. So what this is saying, okay, understood, understood. To the Seven of Wands, this is your challenge, right? Five of Wands in reverse is in is in, uh, the avoidance of responsibility. To the Nine of Wands in reverse, the avoidance of responsibility and being defensive and hesitant. Gotcha. 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 What about these two cards right here? What do you want to say about this? What do you want to say about this? The Ten of Swords in reverse. Now you're ready to fix something. Now you're ready to fix something to the Four of Cups after much contemplation and reevaluation. To the King of Pentacles, you want to be somebody's 
King of Pentacles. Four of Wands in reverse. Uh, the imbalance, the, the lack of structure, the lack of foundation, the lack of harmony. You want to transition, right? The Two of Pentacles in reverse, the disorganization. You want to fix this. The Four of Cups, talking about much contemplation and reevaluation, about your emotional dissatisfaction, about your lack of success, about your, 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 reluctance to invest any kind of time and effort to the princess of wands in reverse talking about talking about um your pessimism right Pay, princess of cups in reverse this is about a creative block possible emotional immaturity you want to fix all that with a new beginning a new beginning in love no less with a turning point with the wheel the King of Swords speaking your truth, and it has taken a lot of inner strength for you to come forward with some kind of justice about hope, faith, purpose, renewal. Um, your concern that there's too much water under the bridge for this person to want to be your Queen of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this is about lacking ambition or focus to the Ten of Cups to have a happy relationship. All right, what else do we have here? What else do we have here? Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. Yep, you want to move on from loss, regret, despair, disappointment. You want to move on from your repressed emotions, and you want to be open to change. Interesting, Scorpio. All right, yep, look, a new perspective, thinking about your next move. Interesting. Um, I'm really curious, but I'm going to use a different deck of cards. Um, Scorpio, Spirit, what is Scorpio's next move? What is Scorpio's next move? The King of Swords in reverse, letting go of anger. What else? What is Scorpio's next move here, Spirit? Letting go of anger took a long time. Now you're thinking about what your next move is going to be. Yep, Ace of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to bring all of this to a culmination, a conclusion, and you want a new beginning in love. What else is here, Spirit? What else is here? 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 Anything on oh, the star? Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. But Spirit, what is Scorpio's next move? What is Scorpio's next move? What is Scorpio's next move? What is Scorpio going to do? They're going to engage. You're going to engage, Scorpio, I mean. Okay, Six of Pentacles in reverse, right? After no giving and receiving. What else, Spirit? Anything else you want to say here? Going once. Going twice. King of Cups. King of Cups to the King of Pentacles in reverse, right? You want to fix this whole thing. All right, I think that's enough. Let's start from the top. Let's start from the top. All righty. So, Scorpio. <clears throat> Scorpio, you start out with the Tower in reverse. This Tower in reverse is indicating that you've undergone a personal transformation. A personal transformation in your feelings, Scorpio, with the King of Cups. What's this about? Well, this personal transformation has come after much reflection and assessment on what it is that you're actually investing your time and effort into. The devil talks about much reflection and assessment on perhaps some kind of bad behavior, perhaps some toxicity, some kind of something between you and someone else. You are having a personal transformation after reflecting and assessing on what you're doing with your life, with the situation. The Wheel of Fortune. This brings about a turning point in the situation. The Queen of Wands in reverse. A turning point where you, I believe it's you, Scorpio, could not give somebody what they needed to be fulfilled in a relationship with you. Could be vice versa. 
it's general, right? But it's it's caused a turning point because now you're 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 understanding why something didn't happen in the past, and you're having a personal transformation about how you're going to invest in it in the future. And the Nine of Cups says this is something that you want very very much. It's emotional satisfaction. The Prince of Cups in reverse. Up until this point, it was unrealistic for you to share your feelings. You are out of touch with your feelings, out of touch with your emotions. The Six of Swords in reverse says that there's a lot of water under the bridge between you and somebody that you would very much like to be um, to hold a significant place in your life. Ace of Pentacles, you would like to manifest a new beginning with this person to the Nine of Swords after a long, long time. See, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse right underneath this. After a long, long time of being tormented over the situation. The Star, you want hope and faith and purpose and renewal in this situation. The chariot tells me that you are going to move forward towards the Queen of Wands, the same Queen of Wands that is in reverse over here. This is the same person who in the past you felt you could not satisfy, you could not meet their needs, you couldn't give to them in the way that they needed to be given to. But now that's all changed and you're taking some action towards this Queen of Wands because you see this Queen of Wands, male, female, it doesn't matter, penises and vagina are not a part of spirituality, okay? You see this Queen of Wands as a source of emotional fulfillment, wishes fulfilled. Ace of Swords in reverse. Up to this point, you did not have emotional, I'm sorry, mental clarity. Because see, that's where the personal transformation comes from. Mental clarity. You did not have mental clarity. And it, 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 it prevented you from manifesting what it is that you want to manifest. Maybe you had a lack of confidence with that Queen of Wands in reverse that you could actually provide what this person needs from you. But now your personal transformation is, you know what, screw it. Um, I've come to terms with some things about myself. I've come to terms with some things inside of myself. I've come to terms with things about you. And I am going to extend an olive branch. I am going to extend in a message of, of feelings of some sort in the hopes that it's going to create a new beginning and a new journey in my life, in your life, in the situation. The Hierophant in reverse. This is your personal beliefs. This is the personal transformation, right? This is a change of the way that you believe about things in the realm of the way that you feel about something. Some, is there anything you want to say about this Hierophant? Yep, look. You have made a determination that you are going to pursue hope, happiness, success, vitality in this situation. And you have changed the way that you believe about something. The Prince of Pentacles in reverse in the center of your reading. This whole situation, whatever this is for you, this whole situation, you have been stuck like Chuck for God only knows how long. Stuck like Chuck in a state of mental unclarity, right? Mental confusion to the Seven of Swords in reverse. Um, you have had mental challenges about betrayal, deception, and deceit that have been lingering for a long time. And the Hangman in reverse says this is why you were resistant to reach out and correct this situation. Queen of Cups comes in and talks about feelings, your feelings, their feelings. There's definitely feelings here. We have the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands to the King of Wands somewhere down here. There he is. Well, this is soulmate relationship here. This is um, straight up love with the Queen of Cups. Straight up love. 
five of wands in reverse on top of this says you want an increased focus on goals for some forgiveness with the three of swords. You want to mend this situation, Scorpio. The king of wands, this is you. This is always for me, half Scorpio and half fire, whatever it might be. It's usually Aries. Sometimes I see it as half Leo, right? Um, no offense to the Sag, but it's just what it is for me as a reader, right? Um, so the King of Wands, this is you, Scorpio, achieving and succeeding. This is you being a badass. This is you wanting to bring in this Queen of Wands that perhaps you could not meet their needs in the past or they could not meet your needs in the past, but you're ready now. You've had a personal transformation. You've changed the way that you believe. You want a new beginning and a new journey in this situation. The Ace of Wands in reverse, your lack of motivation in the past up to this point has been the King of Swords in reverse, your anger. Your absolute anger. Also, the resistance has been the emperor in reverse. Your straight up stubbornness, Scorpio. Uh, and possibly the other person's stubbornness. Maybe y'all are both stubborn. I'm telling you, the queen of wands to the king of wands, they are some stubborn people. <laughs> right? And I think we have the queen of pentacles up here somewhere, and then we have the king of pentacles down here. They're stubborn too, right? We have we have just stubborn, two of the most stubborn signs of the tarot. The, the king of wands and the queen of wands, and then we have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So there's just been stubborn. Both y'all have had your heels dug in the dirt here and nobody's moving. And that's what this emperor in reverse represents. Inflexibility and stubborn. Somebody wanting to have the upper hand and the control in a love situation. Romantic, friends, family, whatever the fuck it is for you, Scorpio. It is a significant relationship in your life to the Knight of Swords, and you ain't having it anymore. You're giving in, okay? And I'm here to tell you, I'm a Taurus. I'm here to tell you, if you're dealing with a Taurus, they will not make the first move. If you're dealing with a fire sign, um, depending upon the moment or the day, they might make a move. But if you're dealing with an earth sign, they're absolutely not going to make a move. If you're dealing with the water sign, if you held out long enough, they might. But that's not advice. That's just my, uh, my observations, right? So you are letting go of the stubbornness and you are taking action towards a significant relationship in your life. A relationship that has challenged you, Scorpio, to the five of wands in reverse. A relationship that you have been avoiding the responsibility of taking, making the first move. Nine of wands in reverse. You have been defensive, paranoid, hesitant, fight mode, not going to do it. But you changed. You had an epiphany, a revelation, a personal transformation, and you have changed the way that you feel about this situation. Ten of Swords to the Four of Cups says, after much contemplation, much contemplation, you have decided that you want to heal, repair, and fix this broken relationship from your past. King of Pentacles, you're coming straight up as somebody that is commitment worthy. Okay. Um, this could be the person that you're going after. Um, it could be, this is the card of Taurus, the King of Pentacles. Um, no, it's not the card of, of, of Virgo. It's not the card of Capricorn. It is the card of Taurus. Okay. Um, if you are, and you know what, we have a Hierophant right here too, which is Taurus. We have the Queen of Pentacles up here, which for me happens to be, um, Virgo. Okay. We have the Devil over here, which is, um, Capricorn, right? So you could be dealing with an Earth sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign. You could be dealing with a water sign. What does that leave us? Air? I'm not seeing any air in here. But you know what? Like I said, it doesn't matter. Spirit does not give a shit what you call yourself, okay? King of Pentacles. This is either you presenting as relationship, straight up, integritous relationship material, or this is the person that you're after. Regardless, Irregardless, irregardlessly, 
<laughs> the Four of Wands in reverse is about a transition into structure and stability. To the Two of Pentacles in reverse, fixing the disorganization between the two of you. Four of Cups in reverse because you've thought a good long minute about the emotional dissatisfaction, about the lack of success, about the overinvestment of your time and effort being stubborn in this situation. Prince of Wands in reverse, you've thought a good long time about the delays and the frustration, about either the emotional immaturity of yourself, of this other person that is creating the blockage between the two of you. And, you know, stubbornness really does have a little bit to do with emotional immaturity, just saying. Ace of Pentacles, you want to manifest a brand new beginning in this situation. To the Ace of Cups, you want a new beginning in love. To the Wheel of Fortune, you want a massive, serious turning point in this whole situation. King of Swords, you're going to speak your truth too, Scorpio. Strength in reverse, pulling on a lot of inner strength to get yourself to the point where you can be calm, cool, collected, and factual, logical about speaking your truth and not filled with anger, not filled with emotions, not filled with anything except calm, cool, collected, logical thinking. It's taken a long time for you to pull the inner strength to bring justice to this situation. What's the justice that you want? Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Never fear the star is here. Six of Swords in reverse. You're hoping there's not too much water under the bridge with this Queen of Pentacles, right? Right? So this is you, Scorpio. This King of Pentacles is you coming as relationship material. And you're hoping that there's not too much water under the bridge with the person that you want to um, take title in your life. This Queen of Wands, this Queen of Pentacles, this Queen of Cups. You have almost all of the Queens here. I wonder if we have the Queen of Swords coming. I don't remember. But nevertheless, um, you see this person as having, as checking all of your boxes. They check your boxes, the Queen of Wands. They check your boxes, the Queen of Pentacles. They check your box as the Queen of Cups. Um, this is passion, security, and, and love. They check your boxes, but you're hoping that there's not too much water under the bridge. You're hoping that they're not lacking ambition or focus to try to create a Ten of Cups relationship again. You want to move on from your repressed emotions and the lost love between you. You are so open to change. You are so open to a new perspective, and you are contemplating what your next move is going to be. The King of Swords in reverse to the Four of Cups. You've thought long and hard about your anger in this situation. And now with the Four of Swords, you're contemplating how it is you are going to move forward and create a new beginning in love with this person. You want to bring all of this bullshit that's been between y'all to a culmination, to a conclusion, and you want hope, faith, purpose and renewal with the star card. You want to engage, you want to build, you want to work on it, you want to create something sustainable with this person. The King of Cups, because you have mad love for this person. Mad love for this person. And you are tired of being the King of Pentacles in reverse. You want to be the King of Pentacles upright. You want to hold title in this person, You in this person's life. You want to be meaningful to this person. And you are about to fix the whole situation to the world card. A closure of the cycle that was and an entrance into committed, serious love. Romantic, friends, business. Well, I don't know if you can love business. You can maybe love your job. But whatever this means for you, whoever or whatever you are thinking about as I'm reading these cards, that's the shit that's about to pop off in your life, Scorpio. So bravo. Go forward. Take the higher road. Don't be stubborn. Don't be stubborn. And um, relent. And this looks like it has the potential to be a beautiful, beautiful relationship, Scorpio. A 
beautiful relationship. There may be.